Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. The U.S. portion of the International Space Station is actually designated as a federal national laboratory. Most people don't realize that. The sense that 250 miles overhead, there's actually a floating laboratory and that it's accessible to you is something that seems like a best kept secret sometimes, but is actually very true. So we actually have a project that we're working on right now that is looking at brain organoid models for Parkinson's and MS. It's really exciting to think about the discovery that can happen, but a lot of that discovery also gives us clues to the future of what it can look like, even in terms of manufacturing. Things like stem cells grow faster in microgravity. You know, people often ask when I talk about doing research in microgravity, can I go? Or, you know, do you go? And I would love to, and I wish that they could. They can't right now. Eventually, you know, I don't think that's too far off. At the moment, astronauts on board the International Space Station do the research that is done either manually for some of the experiments or as in our systems in an automated way. One day, I think you will see therapies, biologic therapies, stem cells, vaccines, even synthetic biology that will be actually produced in a microgravity environment and helping patients here on Earth.